everyone, this is Lama C and Rav One. And today we are doing a book box, which is books, movies, and music. Also, if you've been liking our content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also, I was over there. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. And also, while you're hitting that subscribe button, make sure you hit the notification bell to find out when our videos drop out. And also, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, our videos drop out on Sunday. Tuesday? Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. At 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Awesome. Great. Cool. Good job. Thanks. So, yeah, we got another bulk box for you guys. Uh, books, movies, music. Uh, if you guys have been sourcing bulk, uh, movies and books and music have been very scarce. So, you yes. got to sort of jump on these when you find them. Um, I was lucky enough to grab this one. Um, we're hoping it's going to be good. This is Uninspected Returns. Our last, like, five or six unexpected return boxes though we've actually almost tripled our profits on which is great awesome um, you know we've you know as, as an example we paid 100 for the box we paid that 100 back and we made 200 dollars of profit so that's tripling the tripling what your cost is which is awesome so um so we're hoping to do the same thing with this box so i'll give you the numbers uh you'll probably see them above little missy's head over here or down here somewhere i don't know they'll be going somewhere um we'll go over the numbers and then we're going to dig into the box and we'll show you what's in here and yeah. hopefully everything we get is in pretty good sellable condition so we paid 102 dollars for this box um that's with shipping the msrp if everything was new inside but we know it's not would be 564 dollars, wow. which means we paid 18.08 percent to retail which is pretty much like getting everything in this box for 82 percent off which is really awesome um, there's also 44 items in the box, which means we pay $2.32 per item, which is great because we like to be in that 2 to $3 range and makes it a little bit easier to make your money back with books and movies, especially if you get some good uh, vinyl in here, or some CDs or some movies, you're going to definitely make your money back. And if you get some more expensive books as well, you'll, get, you'll make your money back as well on that. So um, we're going to dig in. Uh, we'll come back. We'll show you what we got. And periodically, we'll show you how we're doing uh, on the box versus what we paid for it. So it'll probably start off with, you know, hey, you know, we're at negative $102 because we got to make that $102 back. That's our potential profit right now is negative 102 But once we start going through here, you'll see it pop up what our actual potential profit is from selling everything in this box. Maybe so. down here, maybe up here. Yeah, we don't know where it's going to be. It'll be somewhere. So, mm -hmm. all right, let's dig in and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff in here. We'll start pulling it out. I can see already there's a bunch of stuff that's, you know, you can see it's got some wear and tear to it. Um, first example, we got this Scoob book, um, over 30 stickers, a dog's best friend. Uh, biggest thing with this is to make sure that all the stickers are in here before you sell it. One is missing right down here. That won't impede the price very much at all. We'll still be able to sell this, but you got to look at these. You know, just from these being on shelves, you know, they get bent up and whatnot. This is most likely a stock pull, but yeah. we'll probably get a couple bucks from that. Okay. This one, though, this one's going to be tough. I am. Not you can see this. This is just really beat. Um, this is one of those Target $1 math workbooks for grade one. So this is probably worth nothing. I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna be super easy with that. I don't need that at all. Right, you don't. Oh, I'm gonna pull this out because we've had this before. This will just go right up on our eBay store. This is one of those Target um, 30 years of whatever, 20 years of design for all books. We have a bunch of these on our eBay wait, store. Wait, 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 I know how to flatten it. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you flatten it? <laughs> that's how you flatten the book. That's funny. That is how you flatten What do we got here? We got a. Um, it looks like one of those word books. There's the wipe and clean ones. Mm -hmm. Dry waste. I don't know. Oh no. Yeah, it's a little beat. A little beat at the top here. The cover's ripped. But the great thing with these dry erase books when we get them in, um, this is great for kids just learning to practice their all their stuff. Did I have that? You may have had this. Um, even oh, with I it being those, ripped. Like, little... Yeah, even with it being at the top, we'll probably still get a good like three or four bucks for this. These things sell like crazy when you get them. I had those like boards where um you like, like shows right? Oh, we had this before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. And That's what I saw. It's working. Yeah, this is that busy day book. Um, there's nothing mechanical about this. Things just move. It's great for early kids. Um, I think we actually sold this for like, I want to say this was like an eight or a nine dollar sale on this book. Um, and I think it has like a cover price of something around like 15 or 20 or something for this. So, and it's in great condition actually. So, yeah. pretty awesome. 
Look, you just can like move stuff. All right, let's try to pull a couple out at one time here so I don't have to keep digging in this box. All right, here we go. Oh. What do you got here? We have a Paw Patrol Chase Bait. Wait, wait, Chase's Space Chase. That's what yeah. I'm saying. It's a little bent and beat up. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's not gonna... all the stickers are in there and all of these books. These are a good, like, $2, $3 book every yeah. time. This one, not looking so hot. <laughs> what? So in this is world? a Disney Junior activity book. It has three shaped crayons. They're here. It looks like the packaging fell apart on it and they put it back together with packing tape. And we'll just have to check and see if, all, if everything's working, get this packing tape off and uh, make sure that none of the pages are actually colored. I'm not sure if this was a return or not. So. Wait, there's Minnie, Bingo, and someone else. So what do you got? We have a Mulan. And it has a CD with it. But it does have the oh. CD. So the CD is actually in here. Let's see if it was mm -hmm. a used one. Yeah, this has been used. You can tell it's got a little bit of scratches on the CD, but the CD is there. Um, so a lot of these books with the CDs, those. you don't have to really worry about the CD too much. But, you know, hopefully a couple bucks for that. Mm -hmm. We got two... Dover Coloring Books, American Muscle Cars, 1960 to 1975. Oh, wow. And then uh, Classic Cars of the 50s. So these are like incredibly detailed pictures on these coloring books. So it's like one, do, one you would do with like colored pencils. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if this has much resale value, but we'll, cool. yeah, we'll probably package them together as a sale item. It's yeah. not bad. Not at all. All right, I'm trying to leave the movies in here for the end like we usually do. Let's take a look yeah. at this. We have an Elf Pets Christmas Cabin playset, mix and match huh. for unlimited possibilities. Oh Includes playset panels and decorations, dry erase, arch and marker, cozy plaid blanket or rug, Elf Pets food and bowl, colorful stickers. Um, but it has been opened. As you can tell, it's been resealed. So let's just take a quick look and see if everything's in there. If it was, like the box was just open and then it's real resealed or if someone actually bought it and used it and then packaged it back up. Look at this one. Huh. Nope, this is I don't think this has been has been used at all. Everything looks like it, everything's in there. Yeah, that's that's brand new. Just the box was open, so that's awesome. Um I don't know what the price on this is, but all the elf on the shelf stuff is uh super popular. So, awesome stuff. Yep. Cool. Now oh, look at this. Official Fortnite How to Draw. Yeah, How to Draw Fortnite book. It's had a $9 price tag on it. We just want to make sure nobody draws in there. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's cool. How to Draw Fortnite. It's got a little ding in the back of the book here. Nothing that's going to really impede us selling it. Well, you know, if you're honest with all that stuff, you put the pictures on, on whatever, you know, platform you're selling on, let them know that there's a little ding in it. People will be more than happy to still buy it from you. Yay. We have a day designer, July 2020 to June 2021 planner. Now it is January when we're filming this. This goes through June. It's another six months. I mean, you put this up there on eBay for like three or four bucks, someone will buy this because these planners are like normally like around like 15 to 20 dollars a piece. And I mean, so this one will sell. I sell planners all the time. Um, and they're not Except just... Except when they're like years. That's right, yeah. If, it, if it's a year that you can't use, you can't sell it, but well, that's oh, pretty. Oh, look at those. One of those wheels. Uh, yeah, but the problem is the spine's yeah. a little beat up on this one. So it's a touch book, right? Uh, yeah, where you just the, like touch things. Yeah, the spine. Like this book is falling apart. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. See? So this is something you can't sell. This is mm -hmm. just garbage. So that's unfortunate. It's a cool book, too. At an eleven dollar price tag, you put that on the other pile. Put it like on the sofa there, so that way, yeah, over here. yeah, that way we know that it's garbage. So you got a Disney Princess activity folder. Um, a five dollar price tag on here. So there's one activity pad, four crayons, one sticker scene, and one. Wait a second. One activity pad, four crayons, one sticker scene, one sticker pad. Um, all I see in here is the activity pad and the crayons. So it looks like most of this is missing. 
So that'll probably be something we don't sell. Or if we do sell, it'll be something we sell locally once we get back to selling it locally. spider guy. Yeah. Okay. Happy birthday, Isadora. Isadora <laughs> Moon has a birthday. Cool little uh, chapter book, it looks like. Good condition. So you got a, oh. one of these French and Bull clips. Biggest thing with these is these get returned all the time because people either don't like them or they don't work. Um, and you can tell right away if it works or not by hitting the button, and then it does. So this one works. So this will probably be something we just, you know, package as an open box item and sell that way. And you probably get a good like three or four bucks for these. So it's just a lot of times you get these book lights and they don't work and they get thrown in these unexpected return boxes. A lot of the inside of this just fell out. We'll have to gather that up later. All right, we still got a bunch of stuff at the bottom here. Bunch of stuff. Oh wow, that is. I'm gonna pull this out really quick just because it's big. Whoa, what is it? So this is ten actual official LSAT prep test, volume six. Um, all of these like college course books usually sell for a good amount, and this has not been used. And it is from 2020. So this is for anyone who's doing LSAT, which is for, I think, the, like a, the law exam for law school. Um, the only problem is that the cover's a little bent, but you'll probably still get a good 10 bucks for this. People who want to go to law school need to do those practice tests. So, all right, let's see if I can pull some books out. We'll talk about more books. Got a lot of books here, a lot of, media here too. I didn't realize there was this much media in this box. There's so many books. All right. Let's see. You want to talk about this one? Oh, I'll talk about this one first because you're not going to know what it is. This is CCP, Cosmic Communist Constructions Photographed. Okay. So it's an eye-opening experience for those who assume the Soviet architecture was died with the rise of Stalin. So literally, it's just an architecture book. It just like shows like pictures of architecture. So anyone's into photography, um, and it's into art architecture. We'll definitely like this book. And it's probably got a, I, mean, I would say it should have a robust price tag on here. I don't see it though. Um, you have to do some research on this, but I mean, probably a good, you know, $10, $15 book right there. I'll be gone in the dark by Michelle McNamara. And it says it's now an HBO documentary series, so. Good condition. It's a true crime one. One woman's obsessive search for the Golden State Killer. You know who would like this? No. Mommy. She'd probably enjoy that one. Oh. Yeah, what's that? Oh, we got two of them. Oh. Cool. This one's cool. Russian Fairy Tales, the most Ooh. comprehensive collection of classic Russian tales available in English. That's really neat. I've never seen this before. It's got a $20 price Ooh. tag. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of Russian fairy tales. Cool. You want to talk about this one? Yeah, sure. So this is Katie Fry. Private Eye. Private Eye the Lost Kid, I think. Yeah. Level two, Step Into Reading. It's a four dollar book, you know. These these books though, these step into reading books, you know, usually you get between three and four dollars on eBay because most of the time you get them in these boxes because they're stock pulls and they don't make them new anymore. So people really are looking looking for these. So also, when you, we get back to going to actual flea markets, they'll do really well there as well. Okay, I see some more books here. We have Fireworks, the New York by New York Times bestselling author Katie Kutugno. Hmm, I don't know anything about that. Eighteen dollar book though, brand new. Must have just been a shelf pull. Oh, look at this. What is it? Yep, an elegant collection of over 100 recipes inspired by the City of Light. So, wow. It's a Paris cocktail book. It's got like a martini glass there. Wow, really nice book. Wow. Mom would like that. That's pretty cool, yeah. Because she wants to go to Paris and she likes that stuff. Yeah, yeah she likes alcoholic beverages. <laughs> the book's had a little bit of a couple of things on the cover, but all in all, not bad. <laughs> This one, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping it looked better than this. This is a Harry Potter book, but it's in bad condition. 
It what? looks like, yeah. What is it? It's taped for some reason. Um, what? Let's see what's going on with this. Like, you can tell on the side here, it's like super taped for some reason. I'm not sure if there's stuff in here and it was falling out. If that's why it's taped. Why did they tape it like that? I don't know. I'm not really sure what's going on with this. It could have just used something else. Hmm. I don't know what it used. Oh yeah, see like, so this book has a whole bunch of stuff inside of it. And it looks like some of that stuff was starting to fall out. Mm, this is cool. Yeah. So we'll have to look through this and see if it's all together or not. Um, like what is it But I think about? this, it's, it's Harry Potter. It's the first Harry Potter book. Oh. It just has like 3D, 3D designs. This is a $38 price tag on this thing when this was new. So, I mean, it's definitely beat up looking. I mean, you know, in that condition, we'll probably get a good like 10 bucks for it, I would say, though. Oh, look at this. Peanuts White Clean Playset. Yeah, one of those white clean books. Um, I think it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, look, it's like a, like a white clean board. Too. It's got stickers. It says one wipe clean trifold, one wipe clean marker, one coloring activity pad, one sticker sheet. So the only thing this doesn't have is the marker. But for someone who has any wipe clean markers at home, this is nice because all the pads are here. This is, that's cool. I remember when I was a kid, when I was younger than her, I used to have these kind of play pads all the time. So that's pretty neat. Do they know how old I am? Yeah, she's eight. All right, here's another one of those fireworks books that we got, but this one, the pages are all bent up inside. So we'll have to flatten that out, but I mean, two copies of the same $18 book. Hopefully it sells well. Yep. What do you got here? Ooh. Annie Rice, Christopher. No, not Annie. Anne Rice and Christopher Rice. Rams the Dam. Ramsey is the Dam, the Passion of Cleopatra. So anyone who knows Anne Rice, she wrote the, the Vampire Chronicles. Um, Interview with a Vampire. Uh, $16 book. Pretty decent condition, not bad. Sure. <laughs> we have an Elf on the Shelf, Imagine Ink. Without the marker. No Imagine Ink marker, wah wah. Oh well. <laughs> we have The World of Eric Carle, Electronic Reader and 8 Book Library. So this obviously you can tell is open. Yeah, that's fine. We'll have to see if all the books are in here and if the reader actually works or not. So, let's see. Can I press the buttons? Yeah, press the button, see if they work. I'll see if all the books are in here. Press the button that matches the book you'd like to read. To begin, to begin, to begin, press the button that matches the book you'd like to read. Well, you gotta press hit the... the button that matches the book you'd like to read. Yeah, so it looks like it works and all the, all the books are here. So that's pretty neat. I don't know how this was in here though because these, these books don't seem to really want to fit in here. We'll have to play around with this to get this back in. To but begin. this, this works, which is awesome. So <laughs> to begin, to begin. Um, I think this probably had like a $30 price tag on here. So we'll probably be able to get a good 15 bucks for this. The Eric Carl books are really great. Just put it off the side because we got to put it back in its packaging. They're really great for kids. Um, I know you had a bunch of them when you were a kid. Yes, really. All right, we got two more books, and then we got the movies and music. This video is going extremely long. We have an Onward Imagine Ink. Oh, it cool. has a marker, at least. And we got this really cool... Journal. That, did someone write in there? What? Did someone write that? I think someone wrote in it. Yeah, someone wrote September 2020, September, October 2020 but they didn't write in the actual journal itself, which is really weird. So, I mean, that's something you take a picture of and show, but I mean, this journal's leather bound. It's really nice. No pages written in it at all. Um, probably get a good like three or four bucks for it, even with this writing on the first page. Like, why does it say that? Oh, actually it looks like someone did write in it and they actually ripped out what they wrote. So maybe not. This actually might just be garbage. There's pages ripped out of it. Really? See? <gasps> yep. Why so. would they do that? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so now we got, oh, actually, before we got the movies and musics, we actually have something Little Miss Eve loves when we get, because they're always usually not in there. Nah. Two packs of colored pencils. But these both feel, feel very full, so. You know, I have, like, one of those, like, and it has, like, two in there. 
Yeah. You just got them and you just like gave them. What was that? That was me dropping stuff. Oh. Well, at least you didn't like end this. All right, this one's full. <gasps> this one has all the all the yes. pencils in there. And unless he's not happy. Let's see about this one. This one Cross my fingers. That I can't open for some reason. Hmm. Maybe it's taped. It's not taped. Oh yeah, it is. Brand new. So two brand new colored pencil sets. These artist quality ones are usually like ten dollar pencil sets, so it's really good. I have like one that's two in there. Really. Right, let's pull up that, uh, these movies first. We'll go over this music, movies and our music. Like we have or? Circles by Mac Miller. It is still sort of sealed. Um, and it definitely feels like it's in there, so that's good. Do you want me to put them like down there? That's fine. Yeah. Not, like, we have The Best of Pentatonix Christmas. This has been opened and this CD case is cracked. <laughs> um, hopefully. Taped. Um. So you can sell CDs used so long as they're not scratched up. If they're scratched up, it's really hard to sell them. Let's see. Nope, that's brand new. Has one little, yeah, one little fuzz on there. That's it. So that's good. We'll be able to sell that. I mean, the case itself is just really bad, but the actual CD is fine. We have Andre Bercelli. This one has been cracked and open as well. This was a Target exclusive. Let's see. Brand new. Perfect. The one that you gave me with Blake Shelton, that one, the, the case broke, mm -hmm. but the... But the CD was cracked, but it worked fine. Hmm. The movie 1917. And they're like huh. on DVD. So no digital code. If there was one, it's gone. And the movie is in pristine condition, so that's good. DVD sell really well, so they do. that's awesome. This is the Mulan two movie collection. This has Mulan and Mulan two, the animated ones. That's pretty awesome. That's sealed. That's good. Charlie Brown's Christmas Tales. <laughs> well, it looks like it's been sliced open at the top here. We actually may just have to take it off and make sure it's... I don't know if that's actually in there. Someone may have stolen this. Why would they do that? Nope, it's in there. So, that's cool. I don't need that. And then we have the original Christmas specials. Aww. We have five holiday favorites on Blu-ray. We have Rudolph. Rudolph the Red Nose Perfect. We have Frosty. I don't think this is ever taken out of here. Yep, that's perfect. Santa Claus is coming to town. Perfect. And what's great with Blu-rays, Blu-rays can be scratched up and you don't have to worry about it. This says Little Drummer Boy and Cricket on the Hearth. I think that's two movies in one. So, Frosty, da 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 da. Cricket on the Hearth. Yeah, so this has everything in here, all on Blu ray. I don't really know what this sells for, but we'll be able to sell it, which is awesome. And then the last two things in this box are two vinyls. Now, the vinyls themselves. It's not a good idea. That's fine, it'll stay there. The vinyls themselves have been opened. <gasps> no. So you can see here they're open. Um, this first one's Harry Styles. Um, I think it's like it's like a poster of him like half naked there. So we'll have to take these out and check and see if they're actually how the, the actual records themselves are. Ooh. Oh that one's cool. That's a really awesome looking vinyl. <laughs> and it does not look scratched in any way. That's well, hey. fantastic. So if the, this is a two vinyl one, so I'll have to check the other one out. Why is there like a poster from like that? I don't know. There's like a special edition one probably, so they gave a poster with it. All right, and vinyl number two, same design. Yeah, that's perfect. That's in pristine condition, so that's perfect. Even though it's not sealed, I mean, this will still sell for a good amount. I know this is actually a pretty expensive vinyl. I don't want to say in the video what I think it is. But actually, I'm sorry. I think it's like a thirty or forty dollar vinyl. We'll probably be able to get for this. Why did you not, why did you not want to say in the video? I don't know. 
just because I don't want to be wrong. But yeah, I think it's probably a stuff like 30 or 40 bucks, which is great because I mean, the box costs 102. This one alone will pay maybe for 30% of it. And this looks like Taylor Swift's new album, Folklore, again, opened. Um, another two album one? Yeah, two album. I wonder if there's like a cool design in the can. This is, I think, the Target exclusive Ooh, red. red. Yep. This one, you can tell, has been played. It's got a little bit of fingerprints on there. Will that look familiar? No, not at all. No real scratches to be seen or heard of on this one, which is great. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now I'll just take it an hour. Oh, I'll edit these parts out. <clears throat> they don't want to sit here and watch me put these all back together. Oh. All right, in part two, which has all the liner notes. This one, <clears throat> this one has a slight little scratch on it. Doesn't look like anything that'll impede in the playing on that side. Same thing with this side, so that's good. Um, so these two will be sold. We'll sell them obviously as used uh, because they haven't opened but we'll still probably be able to get a good amount for them. Vinyl sells really well. It's got a good resale because if it's not scratched, it's in a play and it's just like new. So that's pretty awesome. So, I mean, I would say this box is definitely going to be, I don't know what the running total is going to show up there, but I'm going to say it's probably going to be something really good. Um, hopefully in the, you know, we paid a hundred, hopefully we made at least $200 of profit on it, which would be right in line with what all of our other boxes do. I'm hoping. You know, we got some interesting, unique books there. Might yeah. be a little bit harder to sell them, but the potential profit should be pretty decent for it. So, like this? no, 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 like these kind, like the Russian fairy tales, the Paris cocktails, they're more unique. That's something you don't see very often. Okay. So you think they'll be harder? A little bit harder to sell, but they, or they could be easier to sell. Who knows? Because there might not be as many of them out there. So, cool. So guys, we appreciate you guys checking the video out. Sorry for it going so long. Um, you know, hopefully oh, wow. it's, you know, after I edit it down, it won't be nearly as long as I'm sitting up there. Um, but you know, we want to go through every piece and show you everything that we got. So hope you enjoyed it. As little Missy said in the beginning of the video, if you did enjoy the video, hit that like button. We appreciate it. And as always, stay, stay safe. safe. Bye. Bye.